in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the host, the gatekeeper of this program, known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your soul brother, number one. A lot of times, that is how we open up this broadcast in the name of our ancestors. And when we do that here, it is simply to respect those known and unknown prior to us because if it was not for them we would not be here we are not trying to talk to the ancestors we are not claiming that the ancestors is in our physical blood it is only paying homage and in memory of those prior to us. We do not expect the ancestors to do anything for us. Their time is over. They have no power. If they had power, they would be alive they're gone they did their time as we would do our time and we will not join nobody this body will decompose into nothingness we will go back to the nothing Wherever, whatever that was non-existence for many people that is that's a hard pill to swallow you mean to tell me I, I was just born to die and this is, it has it, it has to be more it, it has it has to be more <laughs> It has to be more to my life. This is why we should concentrate on learning how to live and creating an environment where we, during our short time on this planet, we can live as peaceful as possible. It is not expected. It's unrealistic for somebody to teach us we're supposed to be happy all the time in life. Life is happiness. That's a fallacy. That's a that's a lie. When you look at nature, bees, ants, birds, deer, they have peaceful time. They have chill time. They have happy time. But then they face disease. They face predators. They face the, the weather. The earth itself. Life is like your emotions. You can be happy. You can be neutral. You can be angry, you can be upset, you can be depressed. That's life. Constantly changing. 
it is not realistic to believe and there's no civilization there's no tribe there's nobody there's no evidence to suggest that there was some tribe or people and everything was la di da that's not life even if you get a stomach ache Things change. Dust fly in your eye. Ah, I can't see dust in my eye. You cannot be happy all the time. So we give memory, homage, only in memory to those prior to ourselves. What, what makes me is mind-boggling to me. The ancestors. These ancestors, no specific names, no specific people, tribe. Who you? Who the hell are you talking about? And when we talk about the ancestors. Of course, when you say ancestors, we always think about dead people. And we praise the dead people. Only certain dead people. We have an unrealistic view of the ancestors. You have to understand, and we have to accept the reality that the ancestors was people. There are those who hate Angel Snup Nup 7. I can't stand Angel Snup Nup. He makes me sick, blah, blah, blah. The ancestors was people. And a lot of them you would not like. The ancestors were people. Many of them you would not like. Just like you don't like me. But whether you like it or not, one day I will become an ancestor. See, you like dead people and talk about dead folks because you can paint dead people any kind of way that you want. You can't do that with the living. And dead people can't disappoint you. But the living can. We love dead people. We love the ancestors. But you have ancestors who are alive. That you disrespect every day. And you threaten. And you cuss. Some of your ancestors who are alive right now, living ancestors, they are in nursing homes. You don't visit. Not only the ancestors, your own biological relatives. You don't visit some of your relatives in these nursing homes. You have ancestors. Many of them participated in the civil rights movement who are in prison right now you don't write them. You don't try to find out nothing about them. You don't give a damn about the living ancestors. And you keep, like a hypocrite, you keep talking about some dead folks that you don't know. And when you say ancestors, you're talking about the ancestors that you think can make you look good. The scientist, somebody that was a scientist or a, a king or a queen or something like that. What about the, the, the goat herder? The sheep herder? And some of our ancestors was thieves. They was murderers. They was killers. Rapists. Maybe pedophiles. They were people. And throughout human history, this is the behavior of, of people. Rapists and murderers. Liars and slanderers. Adulterers, fornicators.
the ancestors was not perfect. We have this fallacy. Everything the ancestors did was right. That's not true. It's a lot of things they did wrong. This is why we learn from the past. Otherwise we repeat the past. We're supposed to learn from the past. If, if they wasn't making mistakes. If they was doing everything right. There would be nothing to learn from the past about. Duh. <laughs> The ancestors were dead. They were alive at one time. Different personalities. Some was clean. Some was dirty. Some tried to act civilized. Some was savage. How can I talk about and give praise to the ancestors who are unspecified, who are unknown, who's supposed to be in my blood. These ancestors who's supposed to be in my blood, but I have no respect for the living. You have no respect for the living, but you are obsessed with the dead. And these dead still in your blood. DNA is not your ancestor. Your DNA is your is the um, is the genetic map of a species. Your personal family, your nation, your tribe time is going to take that away and time has taken many of our blood away our vanity my my bloodline you won't, nature don't give a damn about your bloodline nature only nature only cares about will this life form is it going to survive or is it going to die? Nature does not care. I'm going to I'm going to spread the the Williams bloodline, the Thomas bloodline, the Akbar Muhammad bloodline. Nature does not care about your vanity. Nature does not care nothing about your ancestors. Nature only cares about the living. The dead is done. Now if they are in another world, in another realm, we don't know nothing about them. Your concern and my concern should be with the living, with us. How are you going to be nice and say sweet words about the ancestors, dead people, you may or may not know, but you disrespect Angel Snuffin' Up Seven and hate and threaten Angel Snuffin' Up Seven, and I don't like. We are some of the most, we are so hypocritical and fake and fraud. That's why I have a, a problem with. Spirituality and religion. Jot down your comment. Let's talk about it.